Hello everyone, my name is Ben, also known as Scorpio, and welcome to my 2019 small room setup tour. As you can already tell from the video, if you've seen any of my previous setup tours, you'll know a lot has changed in the last year, and I'm really excited to show you some of the new awesome things that I've got for this room. I'll try and put as many item names and purchase links down in the description, so if you fancy buying any of these items for yourself or your own setup, then they're down there to help you. I think that's all I have to say for now, so I really hope you enjoy the video. Starting with some of the more boring stuff, we've got some fairy lights, if that's what they're called, around my curtains to give a bit of an atmospheric light to the room, like a nice orangey glow. Then down on my bedside table, we've got my Apple Watch, a couple of LED remotes which I'll show you later, my Samsung soundbar and my Samsung TV remote. Also a touch lamp there and some skull candy headphones which I haven't used in a couple of years. The most underrated addition to my setup of this year is this awesome soft blanket. It was like £10, but it's the softest thing I've ever felt, and I recommend anyone getting one. So if any of you have watched my previous episodes of this, then you'd know this area has completely changed. We've got this awesome cubic storage unit, which has got nine squares altogether. PlayStation games, I've got my Blu-rays, and I've got my Xbox games, and then I've got corresponding light colours as well. I'll talk about those lights a little more later. There's my awesome bonsai tree that I got for Christmas, and my Samsung soundbar. So I picked up a pack of six of those RGB LED lights that I've stuck underneath there from Amazon and um, they're actually really good. They do require three AAA batteries each which is kind of excessive but definitely worth it. Down on the right we've got my Xbox One and PlayStation 4 with plenty of room to breathe so don't worry everyone. I know you're all like, oh no they can't breathe but they can. I've asked them and they said they can. And my biggest addition of this year is easily my Samsung TV. It's a 55 inch 4K TV and I'm really happy with it and I'll show you some more clips on the TV in just a sec. Playing games like God of War on this TV has been incredible, especially when combined with the soundbar, atmospheric lighting and the subwoofer directly under my bed. It's just really atmospheric and the sounds are so crisp and the TV is just gorgeous. I'm not actually using a um, PS4 Pro or Xbox One X, these are just the standard ones so I'm not even getting the most out of it. You watch things like YouTube on here, watch your Netflix, you can watch Amazon Prime, listen to Spotify, There's so many cool features. To get the atmospheric lights around the TV, I just got a USB LED kit and that goes straight into the back of the TV, so no messy cables or anything like that. And it's a really great way just to give something extra to your TV and give your room some more depth and atmosphere and colour. Another great addition this year to my room is these two black shelves which provide a great spot to put some of my figures. Um, these are all pop figures on the bottom shelf here and then on top we've got a few more pop figures some books and that kind of thing. I actually finished a Rubik's Cube this year which is awesome. I put three more lights underneath just to give the pop figures some extra lighting as well. Now over to the desk, we've got my Nikon D3200 camera there, I'm actually using my iPhone 6S Plus for this video, strangely enough. Uh, two Elder Scrolls books and my 3DS over that side, my Xbox One controller that I use for my PC there, and another speaker. Um, just ignore the cables at the back. Uh, yeah. Top drawer, obviously, it's got to be the cables and things drawer, everyone has one. Um, in the box on the right, we've got some cable ties, a few screen wipes and random stickers and that kind of thing. Uh, here we've just got a tub of USB sticks which are um, useful for things, and paper and some more remotes which I will show you again shortly. I don't know what all that's about. <laughs> so apart from the bit that you've just seen I really wanted to work on my cable management this year as it makes the room look a lot cleaner. So for example with the TV underneath you can see the cable trunking which houses tons of cables and hides every single cable so you can't see a single one over there and pretty much the same over here apart from the mouse, keyboard and my microphone. So now over to peripherals, my keyboard is the Razer Black Widow Chroma and my mouse is the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, both of which I love a lot. The microphone which I'm using now so you can do a sound test if you like is the Rode NT-USB which is quite pricey but I think it's really good. The webcam that I use is a Logitech C920 which is 1080p 60fps which is great for streaming. Last but most certainly not least is the headphones which I use which are the Steel Series Arctis 5. They are actually really good headphones, super comfortable and they have great software as well for customising your audio to the way that you want it. I'm still rocking the dual monitor setup with the two Asus VG24 8QE 144Hz 1080p monitors which I absolutely love. I know, I know, you just want to look at the PC already but not yet, we're going to look at the cable management for just another second. <laughs> so as you can see it's kind of messy behind my monitors but honestly that doesn't bother me because I don't see it when I'm sat down and to be honest that's all that matters. By running the cables from the left monitor to the right monitor instead of letting them drag off the back of the desk makes the whole setup look a lot cleaner so it's really worth working on cable management. 
So now finally onto my pride and joy, my gaming PC which I built just over a year ago. We've had a few new additions this year which I'll cover shortly, but I think the whole thing's looking fantastic. Apart from the reflection on my razor mice which always looks like a sad face. But we've got my little scorpion pop figure sat in there protecting me, telling me to get over here when I get home from work and play some games. Moving on up we have the Asus Strix Republic of Gamers GTX 1070 which is an 8GB graphics card and it's been amazing for the last year. I've installed three new Corsair fans which I'll come on to shortly, but by far the biggest upgrade of the year was the NZXT Kraken X62 CPU cooler, which looks incredible in my opinion. I love the thing. Moving round to the front now we've got the other two Corsair LL140 RGB fans which I think look absolutely incredible, and I'll show you some of the customization options for these things in just a second. So the Corsair IQ software is really awesome and I'll show you a couple of the settings here. So there's all of these options and presets you can go with for colours and I'll just show you those now. So that's a rainbow effect which is kind of a bit too full on but it does look amazing I have to admit. <laughs> you can also put multiple effects together to create your own sort of unique options. But this one I'm going to show you now is really cool. It actually changes depending on the temperature of your CPU or GPU or whatever you want which is really cool. Here's just one quick example of what I came up with in 30 seconds, it's this pink inner loop and a blue outer loop that spins around clockwise. I think it looks really awesome for the setup and you can pretty much customise it to whatever you want to suit your setup room or needs. Whilst customising the fans I thought it would also be a cool idea to show you that you can customise the Kraken X62 as well to match your setup and theme. So as you can see there it's just the normal thing and I'll go through the settings. So there's loads of presets on here as well, so you've got the breathing, fading, pulse, spectrum wave, then the smart custom audio and game options which I'll show you in a second. So if we test out the spectrum wave for example, if I press apply and we look over there it's kind of crazy um, and I don't think that would suit any setups really unless you've got just an insane RGB setup going on. So you've got audio level level sync and bass options as well as some in-game options like health so you know the, the light colour would change depending on how much HP you have left or this is my kind of favourite one which changes depending on the CPU temperature so it's actually kind of useful yet it still looks cool at the same time. So a couple of other options we've got here you can also change the outer ring which is awesome uh, I'm going to pick a random one so alternating so there's a blue and red alternating which looks absolutely horrible but maybe someone could make that work not me I don't like it. So after a bit of playing I decided on this blue and white clockwise effect which matched my fans and I thought looked really awesome. So the two NZXT fans up top there keep the radiator nice and cool which in turn keeps the water temperature nice and low so I can play my games without any troubles. Next to the CPU cooler we have 24GB of HyperX Fury RAM. Moving further down in the Corsair Obsidian 750D Airflow Edition case we have a HyperX 240GB SSD which is where I store my Windows 10 operating system. As I mentioned previously, here is my Asus Strix ROG 8GB GTX 1070 which is an awesome graphics card and I recommend it to anyone looking for an upgrade from a 900 series graphics card. I've had it for just over a year and it still works as good as new and looks awesome too. Another new addition for this year is a 6TB hard drive which now takes me up to 8TB storage. Moving away from the PC now, I'm going to look at the LED remotes. So obviously I mentioned the under cabinet lights earlier, so I got six of those and this one remote changes colours of all of those. So if for example you wanted it to go white, you can, you just press it and then throw the remote because you're done. And it's dead. I killed it. Now putting this little guy back in his place on the Elder Scrolls mouse mat, we're going to take a look at the remote next to it, which is for the LEDs on the back of the TV. Just quickly I wanted to say that I keep all of my clothes outside my room in another closet so I know a lot of people watching this will have a problem when it comes to where to put your clothes because not everyone will have a closet that they can put their stuff in like I have so it's something you have to bear in mind when you're trying to build your own setup. So with a simple tap on the remote I change the colour of the LEDs behind the TV from blue to red so you can change it to whatever theme you want to go for at the time. And this gave me an idea, I thought I would actually show you how I change my whole setup to match in one go. So there's the old remote back, back from the dead, and we're going for a red theme. There we go. Apart from, the remote doesn't work for everything, so it's time to get creative. So now it's time to change more colours to red. Which one do we go for first? The computer. Good choice, Ben. You nailed it. So first of all, I turn it off. I don't know why. Then turn it back on, and then change it to red. Boom. Step one done. Yes. All red. Get in. But we're not done yet. We've got to change the ones behind the desk to red. So easy enough. Boom! More red. But still, not everything's red. It's looking pretty good, but not quite good enough yet. 
So in just under a minute I managed to change all three fans, the graphics card, the water cooler, my mouse, my keyboard, my headphones and my desktop wallpaper as well as all of the other lights and things in my room to a red and black theme which I thought looked awesome. Moving on round, I thought, what else could I show you on the TV to match the black, red, white kind of theme? And it was Persona 5, it's the perfect colour scheme for it. And I thought this room at the moment just looks absolutely awesome. Being able to customise your room exactly how you want it is a really awesome thing to be able to do. It means you'll never get bored of one setup, and if you do, you can change to exactly what you want. So there we have it, my 2019 Ultimate Small Room Setup Tour. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, I've really enjoyed making it and adding to the whole setup throughout the year. I think my room's looking really awesome now and I'm going to actually struggle to improve it for next year so I don't know if this will be the last one. I really hope not because I really enjoy making these videos and it's nice to see how my setup and my room has changed over the years, see what additions I've made, why I've made decisions and that kind of thing. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched this video or any of my previous setup tour videos, liked, commented and subscribed over the last few years. It's been a really awesome journey. I'd also love to hear your feedback down in the comments section below and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as that means a lot. I'll leave you now with a few short gameplay videos to show you what it's like to sit and play games in my room. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you all in the next video. I've been Scorpio and I'll see you next time. Bye.